welcome to the magical moon message that you're gonna feel very down to the core of your bones, deep within your soul. Welcome to liberation. And I hate to say welcome because this isn't anything new to you, but congratulations as this transit is fully stepping you into the liberation of you as an individual. If I welcome you to anything, it's a continual reminder that we are in the apocalypse. To the point where if anyone asks, people are asking me to elaborate the fucking apocalypse. It's the end of the world, motherfucker. Welcome. Welcome to the revolution of the individual. Because if this is a great awakening, I'm not talking about what you see happening on the news now. I'm not talking about the pandemic. If this is a great awakening, it's an awakening to uplift you out of the collective fog and spell of the last few centuries of neo-colonialism, imperialism, and all sorts of societal standards. Think about the fact <clears throat> that a huge element of your identity is based on the traditions that have really influenced everything that your parents and their parents and their parents' parents, even if they were outcasts or removed, they're still influenced by the prevailing social authorities at the time. You are awakening with everyone else on this planet that most of all of that has been complete bullshit. And it's a transit like today that's going to fully step you into the full integration of your superpowers. And I want you to ask yourself today, what do superpowers mean to you? Because when I say this, some people, it's easy for people to scoff at this as if they're not awakening real actual superpowers. Realistically speaking, there's nobody else on this planet that's you. The reason why this is a revolution of the individual is that you are awakening out of this collective spell regarding this false narrative that you are in any way codependent or under authority to any territory or any nationality. I want to be very careful about what I'm saying given the climate of what you see happening in governments because you're seeing it happening in governments. And every astrologer told you once Pluto is at the end of Capricorn, you're going to see governments collapsing. We've been saying this. We've been saying that when Uranus is going to go into Taurus, the market's going to collapse. Uh, you know, have fun with this crypto ride once Jupiter goes back into Pisces. But please keep in mind that you are integrating since last year, which you've established it with your actions, and this year that you are literally unlocking and manifesting the energy and value of your superpowers, which is the supernatural expression of you uniquely as an individual. What you're awakening to is the fact that you have power that allows you to operate independent of everything that's here. It's, it's I don't mean to sound super woke with this, but coming into Virgo season, there is a supernatural practical expression of this where you can literally take out of the equation infrastructure you were taught to have to live off of. Some of you are literally able to quit your job because you can just be yourself. And I don't mean that hypothetically. You're literally manifesting talents, abilities, and powers that enable you to live off of what you have. This is the revolution of the individual that's happening to every single person all across the world, whether you think you're spiritual, whether you think you're atheist, whether you think you're not. For some people, you might have a mean golf stroke, like your superpower that you're awakening is that you're, you're, you hit holes in ones, you golf like God. It's just like, it doesn't matter. Like you just, you have a mean golf stroke and nobody is seeing, nobody is seeing you on the golf field. And that's a superpower. For some of you, you're gonna be able to like, beast your day your superpower is that you're super focused you don't even need Adderall to just like not only live your lifestyle so on point now you're you're coaching other people how to live their lifestyles on point like oh oh you need to do a b and c like you're do, your, your whole lifestyle is trash i got you let me transform and people are like oh my god my lifestyle is ass like thank you i need you so much like, nah. and it's like that's your superpower some people you're actually awakening conventional like and traditional like superpowers where you've actually focused your chi and this is a very huge 
point for everybody where the expression of what is happening collectively, everyone, is a collective awakening, especially with the moon, which we're going to talk about in Capricorn, over Pluto, going through the gauntlet again, is awakening a special relationship with your own life force energy. So we have to really acknowledge that. And my bad, I only have 15 minutes to condense everything I want to talk. I, I was really pissed off because I wanted to talk for like 45 minutes right now. And I only have 15 minutes. And I can make a part two, but, you know, I really want to just like get the message across. And the moon in Capricorn is literally integrating energy since the sun cycle in Aries. This is not just Leo season. This is a motherfucking glow up. The, the motherfucking peace dealer missed two weeks and like, everything went to shit like it's crazy it's and i know i'm not the only one who felt this but like what the fuck did i miss my bad but other than that other than that you know what i'm saying like this is ridiculous because this is not just the moon in capricorn we're coming into literally the second full moon in the sign of leo that's insane that's insane we're literally getting ready to be debuted new concepts and so think about this because this is the last gauntlet. Gauntlet referring to the moon's transit from Capricorn out the south node where it's gonna hit every outer planet. This is like aligning more and more. Now we're in Virgo, you're starting to see physical changes on people because now more than ever, this is the final integration of your superpowers in the sense where you're starting to literally manifest a physical change and manifest more practical element into your social environment of your abilities. And it's gonna be based on stuff you've been practicing the past 10 years, but like there's a supernatural spin to it. Boom. Where like <laughs> your relationship with your own life force energy is becoming as real, and here's the kicker, as you, because no one else is you, and that's your superpower. And so, <sighs> I don't want to present like what I'm saying is anything new to you. I'm not trying to be like, you're awakening superpowers. And you're like, no way. What abilities am I with? Like, you already know what this is. I'm not speaking on anything that you don't know. Just substitute it for anything you're super talented at. But let's not play ourselves. Like, these are enhanced abilities. Like, you're going to be able to integrate a level of focus that is not necessarily natural. It's supernatural. So, the moon is sixth house to the sun in Leo, third decan. You have effectively been charging and glowing up energy at a very solar level, integrating the individuality since airy season that has developed your character. And it's not really as fair to say we just went through airy season. Last airy season, we kicked off the apocalypse. So like you're coming into a successive cycle where Saturn and Jupiter are in Aquarius now. So you have so much more knowledge about where your character and who you as a person belongs. You've been through a year of more division than ever because people's opinions have been polarized. And so based on the actions you took, it's fleshing out more the knowledge of your character and the direction of your life. And this is so hard for me to say because like season two of Lucifer, your whole life is about to just go left field because of collective authority, because of outside Saturn and Aquarius influence that you're going to have to react to relative to everyone else reacting in a social environment. And this is me referencing the sun going through Virgo social out of Leo social. And the reason why this transit is important, six house to Leo, is you are literally integrating since the new moon in Leo a new cycle of energy past the lion's gate where you're able to literally manifest the most physical of physical changes and transformations into your body to literally imprint and integrate extra energy. Let me use special language here. You're awakening literal anime powers and the extra energy is going to fundamentally transform the way you live your life because now you're literally utilizing deeper energy from within you imprinting in the successive actions you've taken over the past 10 years to imprint from your DNA, the nature of who you are at your core. I'm sorry, I have to say a lot of words and condense and chat on them in a short amount of time into actual extra energy. You're literally gonna carve the signature 
of once we come into the second full moon in Aquarius, the knowledge of boom, this is my ability. Bam, what's up? I've been doing it my whole life. I just didn't, I, now I just called it this. And, and you're gonna be put in real situations and contexts where it like breaks through. Few words, moon's gonna transit Pluto. For some of you, this is gonna hurt like a beep. And you wanna embrace the pain because the only reason why it's gonna hurt is moon on Pluto is gonna shed all the illusions and lies you were told to about what <laughs> you're really supposed to get out of life. Cause now you're gonna come into liberation like never before. And it's integration of your superpowers, which is why I asked you, what really are your superpowers? Some of you are expecting your superpowers to be something dramatic like levitation when your superpower is peace or kindness. Like you can be extraordinarily kind to other people in situations where people would be at their wit's end and, and, and you may not have realized that's a superpower. It doesn't have to be anything crazy like levitation or x-ray vision even though some of you got pluto on your son or neptune on your son and you you are awakening telepathy now and it's like oh my gosh this is so awkward like i actually see my neighbor is thinking about boning me or some weird stuff and you don't have to have psychic abilities to sense that right but like it we're for we're foregoing the traditional methods of inductive and deductive reasoning like some really weird alien shit is awakening in in front of everybody like you either know somebody or you're directly awakening so the capacity with which you can integrate literal superpowers into your reality and lifestyle is actually imprinting itself on your body. And the moon going over Pluto is going to be an intense, deep awakening into this nature of your character that will make you go mildly insane. Unless you're boring as fuck, then this is going to be mundane for you. And that's a problem. Like, if you don't go a little crazy, that's a problem. You should go, you should literally go a little crazy once you realize and unearth this. A lot of this is earth based. We have the moon trying to Uranus and then the trying to, you know, Mars and, and Virgo. So like you're literally completing a practical change in the way you manifest your literal abilities. It's going to be supernatural because of Uranus. So it's going to induce new experiences that now you have to integrate like, oh, shit. I can summon lightning. That's random as fuck. And it's just going to be like, whoa. And now Virgo's going to be like, yeah, you can summon lightning, but did you know I can get you paid? Like every time you do that, it, it gives you a window where some weird shit happens. Trust me, trust me. It's all going to come together. It's all going to come together. I'm using an extreme example, but it's retarded. And it's as unique as who you are. And so once you manifest this autonomy, some of you are going to feel betrayed. Why are you going to be like, what the fuck? I was told I need this, that, that. This basically took me away from what I could have been doing. And if you're not even angry, like, hold on, by the way, oh, damn it. I don't want to get my channel striked. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I was going to say, how do you feel that some of you are facing something from something engineered, but I'm not going to. That's fucked up. But other than that, like, you're just going to have realizations. You're just going to have realizations. And it's just, oh. I feel it already collectively. You're gonna be like, what? So channel that into great liberation. Love yourself with this. Leo season is your license to be as narcissistic as humanly possible to the point where it should be slightly offensive to other people. Like, how does this person love themselves this much? Consider it a license coming into Capricorn. And as soon as we have a full moon, this is gonna complete where this belongs out with the collective. It's gonna be awkward as fuck, but you wanna embrace that because that excess energy is what you're gonna integrate. Thankfully, you don't take yourself as seriously as these people on social media who really like, they live for the hype. It's too, it's too, it's too late for them. They have a certain amount of followers. You can't reach them like, <laughs> I feel bad being like, oh, they don't know it's star killer season. like. Pluto is about to go into Aquarius. Anyway, other than that, y'all stay blessed. You are integrating literal superpowers. And when I say final integration, we did this before. This is not our first full blue. This is not our first rodeo. And you already know how crazy the first one is. So just get ready. We're going through the gauntlet after the moon and Pluto. Then it's going to go through Saturn. Then it's going to go through Jupiter. Do you know what we're about to go through? This is the last integration because then Virgo season is going to master everything. And you're going to see the, the craziest physical change of all this integrate. So really ask yourself who you truly are because you are bringing into physical reality superpowers that you've been awakening for the past six months. 
You have the knowledge of it. Now you're actually acting and awakening it. Peace.